So about three and a half years ago, I decided that I was done taking notes on paper. At this time in my life, I had just finished my first year of university and before that had just finished high school. And over these few years, I'd collected about a hundred different exercise books that were filled with anything I'd done study-wise over these few years. And throughout uni, I continued to hang on to every single one of these books because I thought that I would definitely need the information that's somewhere within them. And now having finished my degree, I can confidently say that I didn't reference these books even once and not because the information I needed wasn't in there, but because I thought it was gonna be too hard to find what I was looking for within these books. This is only one of the many issues that's been solved through taking digital notes and doesn't even touch on the extra benefits you unlock that truly changed my study experience in my final three years of uni and I think you're gonna like these things too. Alright, for starters, the first couple of benefits are that you can remove clutter and improve your organisation. The first way taking digital notes removes clutter is that it stops you from having to physically store all your past books. Engineering is one of those degrees that really builds on the information you've learned in your previous courses. And given that it's basically impossible to remember all the information you've learned in your previous courses, there's definitely gonna be a time when you're gonna to wanna to refer back to notes you've written in these earlier courses. And if you've taken your notes digitally, this can be as simple as opening up the app or the folder where those notes are saved. But if you've taken your notes in a physical book, this means that you're gonna to have to pull it out of storage and then flip through all the pages until you find what you're actually looking for. And while you could argue that you could avoid this situation altogether by just doing a quick Google search on the topic, I personally find it a lot more useful to refer back to my own notes when revising content I've done before. And I think a lot of other people feel this way too, because when you look back at your own notes, you're seeing the same explanations you've read before compared to if you just went on Google where everything would be brand new and you'd basically be starting from scratch. Another thing I wanted to add here is that when you take your notes digitally, you can find them even faster than just navigating around between pages because often these apps have a search function or you can use the keyboard shortcut Control F. And something that I thought was really cool is that the search function in some of these apps are so good that it won't just pick up the title type text that you've got there, it'll also pick up the handwritten notes you've done as well. Okay, and on the organization side of things, this is just one of those features that just can't compare to paper notes. Now, depending on which note-taking app you're talking about, the way things are organized does vary a little bit, but for example, let's have a look at how it's done in OneNote. OneNote's layout is pretty straightforward, and essentially there's three layers of organization. There are notebooks, and inside of notebooks there are sections, and inside of sections there are pages. The way I used to set myself up is that I would create a new note notebook for each semester and within each notebook I would make a new section for each course I was taking that semester and finally within each section I would add in new pages week by week for my lectures, tutorials, labs and any online quizzes or assignments. Also by adding clear titles which describe what sort of content is done on each one of your pages this is another way you can streamline the process of finding things at a later date because straight away you can determine whether something's going to be on a page or not just by the title. All right, and the next benefit is that you can just take better notes. And there's quite a few reasons for this. The first one is that you have the ability to edit. And by this, I mean that you can do things like easily erase, rearrange and change the order of your notes, and also add in pages wherever you need. The next benefit is that you can annotate on top of any document you want, whether that be lecture slides, tutorial problem sheets, or even something for an assignment. In the past, I've wasted a lot of time copying equations and diagrams from the lecture slides into my notebook. But when you take your notes digitally, it's very easy just to do a quick screenshot and then paste that information straight into your notes. Also, being able to add screenshots from the lecture slides and other resources online directly next to my notes completely revolutionized the way I would go about doing my tutorial questions. In the past, when I was doing tutorial questions, all I would do is write my working out on a piece of paper, and that's all it would be, a solution to the problem I was solving. But now, my tutorial problem answers are much more than just a solution, they're an explanation. A few of the things I could now add to my tutorial answers were any of the tables or graphs I needed to get information from during the question, and also any of the definitions or concept explanations from the lecture slides that would help to understand the question. Okay, and another one of the reasons is that you can add photos to your notes. Some of the scenarios where this is really handy is when your lecturer does a lot of physical demonstrations and brings props into class. And also when you're in labs and you want to photograph some of the procedures or results you're getting. Another time where I found that this can be really useful is when your professor or tutor is writing too fast and you're starting to fall behind. 
Here you can just snap a quick photo and add it to your notes and then just catch up instantly. Okay, and the final reason you can take better notes is because of the pen functionality. Regardless of which app you choose, because they're all basically the same in this regard, you've got access to every color, highlighter or line thickness you could possibly want, all within a touch of a button. When I used to take notes on paper, I would never use different colors because I thought it was too much of a muck around to carry around all these pens and too annoying to switch between them in class. However, when the friction was removed between using different colors and it was just as simple as clicking a button, I found that I did actually use this a lot and it was really useful for highlighting important pieces of information on the lecture slides and also differentiating my notes from my main working out when doing tutorial questions. All right, and the next benefit is portability. For starters, when your notes are digital, you won't need to log around an exercise book for each one of your classes because everything will be accessible from one central place. This is especially handy when you've got a day that's full of jumping around between different classes because it removes the risk of forgetting any of the resources you may have needed for one of your classes. Also, due to the storage system that many of these note-taking apps take advantage of, like iCloud, OneDrive, Dropbox, or even Google Drive, you can access your notes from any device. And this can be especially useful when you're wanting to log in on a computer that's at university because you can add straight to your notes from that device. And also another time where I've found that this can be really useful is when I'm wanting to check something quickly and I can just pull out my phone and have access to all my notes on there too. Another thing I want to touch on here is how useful it's been being able to access my notes whenever I want now that I'm working as a graduate engineer. There's been so many times where I've needed to check back on a bit of theory I know I've covered at uni and being able to have access to my whole library of notes while in the office has been a real lifesaver. Alright, and the next benefit is multitasking. And multitasking is basically having two or more open windows at the same time, all within your view. There's a bunch of different situations where this is really useful, but as engineering students, a very common one is having lecture slides open on one side, and then on the other side, having the tutorial question you're solving. Normally, if you were trying to do this in an exercise book, you'd be flipping back and forth between pages so you can look at the notes you've written in class, and you've usually got a laptop open as well where you're looking at the lecture slides. Another thing I want to mention here is that when uni went fully online for a couple years there. I found that my screen was getting too crowded during classes, so I decided to buy a cheap external monitor and get some more screen real estate. So for anyone who thinks that the screen might be a little bit too small, if you can get an external monitor, that's a great way to spread out a bit further and have it all connected. Alright, and the final benefit I want to touch on is all the note-taking apps you can use. To begin with, some of the popular ones are OneNote, Notability, GoodNotes 5, and Notion. Now while many of the features that these apps have are similar, there are some key differences that distinguish them, so I do suggest spending a little bit of time looking into the apps that you can use, but don't get too bogged down in this decision because you can't really make a bad decision here. I personally decided to go with OneNote while I was at uni and really enjoyed using the app. One of the main reasons I decided to go with OneNote is because I had bought a Microsoft Surface Pro and as I'm sure many of you might be aware we're a bit limited for choice when it comes to a good note-taking app on a Windows device so I did just have to run with this. And while there are some limitations in OneNote that have been fixed in these other apps I continue to use it today because it can pretty much do everything I need it to do. Alright so there you have it that was some of my thoughts on why I think you should take digital notes as an engineering student. Also if you're keen on taking digital notes and you're undecided about which device you should buy you should check out this video I made here where I talk about the different things you should consider when choosing between an Apple iPad and a Microsoft Surface Pro. And if you want to find out what some of the techniques are that I use to study more productively and effectively on one of these devices, then you should check out this video I made here. Okay, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.